How's it going Guardians? Shifty here and today I'm back with another easy Legend Lost Sector Guide. In this one I'm going to be covering the Bay of Drowned Wishes in the Dreaming City. Now in my easy guides I try to use loadouts that are easily obtainable and I don't use any specialty combat mods. In this video I am going to be showing you a full run on a Warlock, Titan, and Hunter. I'm also going to be including some live commentary to give you some tips along the way. Before I get into my loadout, if you end up enjoying the video, make sure to hit that like button, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright, so for my Warlock run, I'm using Chaos Reach and Geomag Stabilizers. On my Titan, I'm running Thunder Crash and Heart of Inmost Light. And then on my Hunter, I went with Bottom Tree Gunslinger and Celestial Nighthawk. Now for weapon options, in your Kinetic slot, I recommend any Kinetic Bow. I'm personally using the Biting Winds Bow, but any Kinetic Bow should work here. This is going to be for Overload Champions. Then in my Energy slot, I have the new Lawrence Driver Void Linear Fusion Rifle from this season. This is going to be for Unstoppable Champions, Add Clear, and to take out any Void Shields there may be in this Lost Sector. And finally, for my Heavy Weapon, I'm using the Tarantula Arc Linear Fusion Rifle, and this is primarily going to be for boss damage. This is going to get a 50% damage boost since Arc Burn is on in this Legend Lost Sector. If you don't want to use a linear fusion rifle, you could always go with an arc rocket launcher like Sub-Zero Salvo. I do want to mention that these weapons are the same ones I used on my run on all three classes. As for my armor mods, those are also the same on all three classes, so I'm only going to show them to you once on a warlock. I'm just going to quickly show you each piece of armor, and if you need to see anything in more detail, just pause the video. Also, if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section down below. Alright, that's all there is to my loadout for the Legend Bay of Drowned Wishes Lost Sector. There will be timestamps if you want to skip to a particular run, otherwise, let's jump right into it. This Legend Lost Sector throws you right into the action right away. As you can see, there's some screeves, there was a bunch of enemies right at the beginning. I'm gonna go ahead and take these enemies out, and then I'm gonna focus on that unstoppable abomination that you see. I'm going to stun it, take the Screebs out around it. Unfortunately, my aim is pretty terrible right now. And one more wave of Screebs here. Easy enough with Lawrence Driver. I'm going to take out these slowing mines as I see them. We do have another wave of Screebs here, but my bow should do just fine there. And you can see another unstoppable abomination in the distance. I'm going to go ahead and stun that and take this group of Screebs out. Looks like some of them made it through. Now I can push forward and spawn another wave of enemies, including a sniping raider up top here. And some regular enemies down low, including an overload champion. I'm going to use three Lawrence Drivers, then swap back to my bow to prevent healing. Now I'm free to focus on the Screebs that spawn there. You can see another wave of enemies is spawning right back here. And we're going to have some more Screebs spawning in several locations, and we're going to have an unstoppable abomination. I think I took care of all the Screebs, so I can just focus on the Unstoppable Abomination. And now we can move on to the boss room. So in the boss room, there is going to be a champion right away. I'm going to use Lawrence Driver to try and clear out several of the enemies in here first. You don't want those servitors to explode, so you want to be careful for that. Maybe even destroy them like I did. You can see the Overload Captain in the distance. I'm going to stun it, then use my Heavy Linear Fusion Rifle. We should have another wave of enemies spawning. I'm going to try to get several groups of these with Lawrence Driver, just like that. After that wave, you should have the boss fight. You can see the boss spawn in the distance, but we also have several other enemies to contend with now. I'm gonna wait for these to pop up here and throw my grenade.
All right, all we should have left is the boss, so I'm going to go ahead and super using Chaos Reach. Take the boss out and then take any enemies out here in the back. And now I can head for the chest and we should have a platinum completion of the Bay of Drowned Wishes. And there it is, as expected, a platinum completion of the Bay of Drowned Wishes Legend Lost Sector on a Warlock. Now I'm going to show you the same thing on a Titan and a Hunter. Alright, so maybe you don't run a Warlock, maybe you run a Titan instead, so here I am doing a full run on a Titan. So I'm going to go ahead and stun the Unstoppable. Three shots of my heavy linear fusion rifle should be enough. Orange Driver is taking out groups of adds left and right. But I will go ahead and use my bow on this next wave of Screebs. I'm going to go for the stun on this Unstoppable as well. Couldn't quite hit the crits on that one, unfortunately. But we took care of it easy enough. So I am going to go ahead and push up here. This will, of course, spawn the next wave of enemies. Take care of this raider right away. Then go for some of these enemies down low. And then I'm going to go for the overload. Three Lawrence driver shots. And the chieftain is down as well. Much like my warlock run, I'm going to go ahead and throw a grenade right here in just a moment. As you can see, enemies are spawning, but I want to take care of these groups of screebs that are spawning as well. I'm going to back away a little bit. As you can see here, the unstoppable did push up, which is fine. Because just like that, I took it out, and now we can head off to the boss room. So I'm going to go ahead and destroy these servitors lying around so I don't die to them later. And then I'm going to focus on all of these enemies in the room. Keep in mind there is an overload champion here. Now if you actually hit your Lawrence Driver shot, you can take out groups of these enemies. I'm not hitting my crits right now, which is fine. We'll still clear the room out. Alright, time to go for the overload. I have nothing reloaded, apparently. I'm going to swap to my bow to prevent healing, and I'm going to mess it up. Either way, we should take it out just fine. throw a grenade down there for some of these ravagers that are jumping up and now we should be on to the boss fight well the boss should spawn at least I'm going to clear out some of these regular adds first and now that the room is cleared besides the boss I'm going to go ahead and use my super And now I can head for the chest. I can skip these enemies. So I went ahead and jumped over those enemies and grabbed the chest for a platinum completion of the Bay of Drowned Wishes on a Titan. Now all I have left to show you is a run on a Hunter. Alright, as a man of my word, here we are doing a full run on a Hunter. Alright, time to stun the Unstoppable. Take out this group of Screebs that just spawned. And for this lovely group of Screebs, I'm going to go ahead and use my bow. And now I'm going to focus on the Unstoppable. I only hit two out of four crits there, and you watch the health bar jump back up, so that's fun. We'll finish it off here.
And we'll follow that up with another group of Screebs. Grab this special lying around and then push forward to spawn the next wave of enemies. So, I'm going to go for the raider up to the left first. Some of the enemies down low next. And then the overload champion. Now that the overload's down, I have time to focus on the screebs that are spawning. So I took the group of Screebs out behind me with a bow, and I'm focusing on the other groups of Screebs around the area right now. Always want to back away and make sure they're not approaching me too heavily. There is one still coming. Fortunately, they're not coming fast enough for me. And now I want to go for the Unstoppable Abomination. So I'm going to stun it with Lawrence. And swap to my heavy linear fusion rifle. And off to the boss fight we go. I have plenty of Lawrence driver ammo to clear out the boss room. Of course, destroy those servitors first. Looks like a raider did get up here, unfortunately. But now I can focus on this overload in the back. To do that, I'm going to stun it, and then use my linear fusion rifle, specifically my heavy one. After that's down, another wave of enemies will spawn. I'm going to try to focus on them with Lawrence. This wave in the back should be pretty simple with Lawrence Driver as well. Next up, the boss fight. Of course, we have some more adds alongside the boss. And as you can see, the boss is right here. I'm going to go ahead and pop my super and one shot the boss. Looks like there's one more enemy hiding back here. It's a Screeb. I'm just going to go ahead and jump over it. And now we can grab the chest. And that was a platinum completion of the Bay of Drowned Wishes Legend Lost Sector on a Hunter. I hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, remember to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.